Hi everyone. Um, so, uh, for anyone interested, this is going to be a hopefully brief video just covering the process of how I've managed to gather input data for uh, specials and super moves in uh, Heritage. Um, essentially speaking, there's going to be two main tools you'll need, though the main one is MAME Debugger, and in particular you'll need to take advantage of two RAM addresses. These two RAM addresses, which are the unit RAM addresses, uh, which I'll just quickly write down here. Just for clarification's sake, the unit RAM addresses are just the RAM address or the starting RAM addresses for uh, either the stand user or the stand data of player one and player two. Uh, the start of player one's stand user data is 203488C, and for the stand for player one, it's 203500CC. Sorry, zero CC. And then in order to get this address, it's simply that plus 1BC. Now what this address is in particular is just, it provides you the uh, special move ID, or the ID of a special or super move. Each special and super move in the game has a unique identifier or ID value that the game has to reference to check. Okay, uh, so which special or super should we use? We know that they have a, or that they're doing a special or super, but without that value, the game doesn't, or uh, we don't know what it is. <laughs> that was a terrible explanation. Uh, regardless, you'll of course need MAME Debugger, so I'll just go ahead and open that up through command prompt, because I'm not actually sure of any other way to open it up. So you type MAME RR Jojovin Debug, and it'll open up MAME Debugger for you. From here, uh, we're just going to load up the game, and I'll show it on two characters in particular. Wow, that is loud. Hopefully there's not a lot of microphone feedback, I apologize. Uh, so I'll just be using one of Jotaro's moves as a very basic example of this. Actually, the standoff version and the stand-on version. Just in case, uh, because I figured that would help a little bit. In any case, we just copy this RAM address and we use a watch point. So WP set, uh, that address, one for one byte and write so we're checking when it's written to so if you perform the move input for let's just say 236 it'll say stopped at watch point one writing byte to 203484848 and there's your pc value uh the pc value we don't really have to worry about for right now and then of course the data so the data that's written to this is the id value for 236 which is nine in hexadecimal or just nine in decimal because it's the same value uh regardless you'll see that the special comes out so what we're going to do is we're going to go frame by frame using the uh whatever frame advance hotkey you set mine is comma because i just prefer that and then you start inputting the move so two three and six and then Right before you input the uh, button, or the value, what version of the special you're going to use, whether it be the A, B, or C version, you're going to want to trace through the code. So I'll write trace jot or jot 236.txt. Make sure you name it .txt, because otherwise, uh, I think in most text editors it'll, or it'll just, well, I guess you don't have to name it txt, but it's, then it just doesn't know what type of file it is, it's just a, the type is just file, which is weird. Uh, but, <laughs> anyway, you input the move, and then it traces it, or then it uh, runs through to that watch point, and once you've reached that watch point, you enter trace off to stop uh, the code from being written to. Now, of course, what this trace does is it records every single assembly instruction, so these things right here, that it went through from the moment you hit or you did trace to the moment you entered trace off. So if we go to the, our MameRR folder, we'll see the file is right here. You might have already noticed it. So I'm just going to drag and drop this into here. And now, an interesting thing is, uh, I actually forget how I found this, but uh, don't worry about that. The main thing you're going to want to look for is a particular pattern. You're going to want to go to the bottom of the file, 
click Control F or Command F if you're a loser, uh, enter JSR, and then just search backwards. What you're looking for in particular is, I'll show you when I get there, I'm not sure how precisely to describe it, but we'll be going through this. Again, going through, until we reach something like this, that says, or that has uh, two values hard-coded in, essentially. So it says, move long, which is an address, really, to register 5 and register 3. Both of these at this value plus, or whatever the value was, plus 48. So this plus 48 in hexadecimal, and this plus 48 in hexadecimal should yield uh, your address. Granted, main debugger is stupid and weird, but there's an easy solution to that. To figure out what the addresses should be. Because if you actually do that, and then enter the address, or enter that offset, Sometimes it's not always correct. It's kind of weird. Uh, regardless, what you can do is just click Control C to control or to copy. Pardon me, copy this address, and then set a breakpoint for that. So we'll just disable the watch point. Breakpoint set, and then it'll stop at that breakpoint each and every frame, because it's actually running through the check to see if you input that special or super. Well, in this case, the special two three six. So if you check R5, you'll get a value of 061CC164, and if you check register 3, you'll get 0604F5E6. Now, I can't say this for certain, but to the best of my knowledge, uh, whatever's in register 3 is like a general sort of thing. So a lot of the uh, special and super inputs will share this. But whatever this is, whatever's in register 5, is the unique value that is possessed only by the special. So it's like the actual special data itself. And then the uh, register 5 is whatever is used to check that. It's actually a routine. So it's the routine to check. Does uh, the input, or do the inputs that were entered in previously meet the qualifications necessary uh, or fit work so that you do the move i'm really bad at explaining things wow okay so in any case go to fight cade open up fba wait modding my modding folder and then open up xcopy and then just open the 10 file and then set to jojobin set your offset to 6000 because you're using the 10 file and then you go to that address. Well, offset of that address. And now, uh, for the sake of G ease and convenience, you just do com uh, Control F. Sorry, not Command F. I'm not a loser, I promise. And then you enter in the address, making sure you include the zero because, for whatever reason, Xcopy is weird. Uh, it demands that you, I guess, include that zero because addresses are. Seven bytes long? Yes. Addresses are seven digits, and it has to be uh, two full digits to constitute a byte, so the search function won't work properly. I, th I think that's how you explain it. Visually speaking, if you just enter 604 F5E6, you'll get a no match found. Just visually speaking, because I that explains it a lot better than I ever could. Though, I'd actually recommend you use the R5 value instead, since that's unique and independent to the special itself. So, 061cc164. And then, of course, it'll bring you to here. Uh, what's this address? 604E148. So, these two values are what are responsible for that standoff 236. But now, we have to find stand on 236. Well, we don't have to, but I think it'd be a good example as well. Uh, so you use this watch point, or you use this address, disable the breakpoint, set a new watch point, go stand on, and then again, if you input it, it'll give you the 
specials ID, which is 3. This doesn't extend to the stand in particular, this is actually just the ge in general, for the entire character. Uh, it's not exclusive to the stand user and it's not exclusive to the stand. That ID value is for the character as a whole, which is 3. That's a bit of a tangent. Uh, wow, it's raining so hot. Or just twice, actually. So then again, you do the same process. 2, 3, 6, right before you enter the A, B, or C. You trace uh, jot s 236txt And we'll do the C variant, because it doesn't actually matter. Trace off. And then you just uh, go back to your main folder. And you do the exact same process. JSR, backward direction, backwards direction, backwards direction. Very repetitive. Uh, wait, did I miss something? No, okay, good, I didn't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is what we're looking for, actually. These three. You're always going to want to look for that R5, then R3, then JSR. That's the structure you want to look for. And then, sometimes you'll want to test, uh, because, well, I can't say there's a concrete reason, but it's never exact sometimes. There may be, uh, other inputs that are checked before this in the same routine. So when you, whenever you trace, it might not be independent to this thing in particular, because it goes, it goes down a list of sorts. So if your thing is, like, the last special then it'll check all the others and it'll follow this routine structure every other time until it gets to yours. So you'll want the most recent one, really. That's what you're going to look for. The most recent one of these. And then you're going to want to double check, I would say. But if you're lazy like me, you don't have to. In any case, you set the breakpoint and then you stop at the breakpoint. Uh, a little repetitive, but I don't care. So you'll see the R5 values and R3 values. R5, 061CD, FAC. And your R3, 0604, F464. So we jump to that address. And then you do Control F. And then you get the address. And that is... 6092FD4 And that's it